Yo, what's up guys? It's Thursday, day 1601. Today's vlog went up a little later than normal because I was busy trying to finish Sierra's channel and get everything up and running. By now, you guys have all seen today's vlog. You know that Sierra's channel is up and running. Sierra Creates, youtube.com slash Sierra Creates. Her first video goes up Tuesday, next Tuesday. Um, all I'll tell you is it's a gaming video. So I was up late last night watching uh, Casey Neistat videos. And uh, I have to say, right now he's probably my biggest inspiration for vlogging when it comes to my vlogs and whatnot. And I don't mean because like I want to make videos like his and start copying his shots. My point is he's, he's a big inspiration for hustle and getting stuff done and being an awesome human being, an awesome YouTuber. And uh, just his work ethic. He talks about work and for YouTubing and the videos and the vlogs. He's just an inspiration. One of the things that he said in one of his videos that I watched was about how he has to always be going. Pedal the metal, always in motion, always working, and that's his competitive edge over the competition, is that he's always working harder than the next guy. And that kind of shook a chord with me because I feel kind of the same way. If I'm just sitting on the couch watching Netflix, I'm wasting my time. I feel like just because I got Clint's TV to 100,000 or 200,000, 300,000, like, oh, I'm good. I can just kind of kick back and not worry about anything, you know? No, I immediately switched my gears to Clint's games and getting that to 100,000 and making that a successful channel. I don't know, I just feel like uh, the vlogs suffer from time to time because I'm so focused on Clint's games and I'm so focused on gaming and streaming and my head is completely in that world, in that realm, and I kind of leave this world behind. And I feel guilty about it sometimes. A lot of times, actually. When I'm editing and I realize that we didn't do anything and this vlog is just almost almost pointless. But then I remind myself that it's not pointless and that, you know, 40 or 50,000 of you guys don't really care what we do. You're gonna tune in every day and, you, and you'd miss it if I didn't post every day. And those 40 or 50,000 out of the 450,000 that we have, you guys are the dedicated fans. You're, you're, you're really the Clintus clan. Because you're the ones that remind me each and every day why I do this. And you remind me each and every day to keep doing it. There's days where I look at the stats and I'm like, oh man, this video sucks. Oh man, this video didn't do good, right? Because that's the business side of me. That's the, hey, I gotta make money for my family, right? And I look at this other video and I'm like, yo, this video killed it. This video is doing great. I need to make two more, three more of these videos. But that's not what I built. That's not what I've done, that's not what I've been doing. I'm a daily life vlogger. My videos are whatever it is that we do, and sometimes that's nothing. Sometimes we do nothing, and that's what we vlog. And that's what it is, and I, I don't beat myself up about it. I used to. I used to beat myself up about it. I would apologize to you guys for a crappy vlog. I would apologize for not doing anything. And I get reminded constantly by so many of you guys. It doesn't matter, Clintus. We still love you. We're still here. Post something. And so I do. And I am. More than anything, I just want to be tell you guys that I'm self-aware. I know my shortcomings. I know things I need to work on. But I try not to focus on my weaknesses. I try to focus on my strengths. My strengths are to keep working, to keep hustling, keep making content, listening to my audience, try to give them, try to give you guys what they want, what you want, without sacrificing what I want. And so, Thank you. Okay guys, kids are home from school and we are here at Dick's Sporting Goods because Bryce needs an indoor basketball. Uh, his new basketball we got him last season, uh, he uses outdoors, it's dirty, and because now, um, well, basically he wants a ball, he can take the practice with him and not get all dirty in black hands. So we're back at the famous wall of basketball is looking for an indoor basketball. Wait, so like, over here, it's like a submission game ball, what does that mean? Solution game ball? Yeah. I don't know. Indoor game ball. Are these the same thing? Uh, yes, Evolution. Yes. That one's just bigger. That's for 12 years of older. Oh. So that's the one you want right there, intermediate. Eight year olds. Eight year olds. And yep. There's hey, Nike. So Wilson. Under Armour. Spalding. Nike. You're not supposed to bounce it in the box. You're supposed to bounce those. That's why they're over there. <laughs> you break it, now you buy it. Yeah. 
mean, there's not a lot of choices, right? It's, it's indoor basketball. So there's like one indoor basketball per brand. And there's like four brands. What so, did that say? Microfiber. Oh, That's what it's made of. First I said microwave balls. I'm like, what? Microwavable? <laughs> <laughs> I just like look at it? I like it. What? Yeah. Uh -huh. there, there is, there'll be an indoor one. You gotta look for it. Outdoor. Triple grip. Indoor, outdoor. 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 A colored one, maybe. Indoor. Oh, that's indoor. Right indoor, now. outdoor, yeah. Alex has that ball. Yeah? Yeah. Because I see him dribbling outside with it and dribbling inside. Yeah, those are bouncy. It's a head ten. Wait, no, too small. Too small for your big noggin. Yep. Over here. And Sierra's got her under the weather single yeah, chair. This one's the biggest. That's actually kind of funny. All right, we have success. Bryce now has an official indoor basketball intermediate, eight to twelve. He's nine, so he fits in there. And now it's time for some dinner. I'm meeting up with my parents and brother number two. We're at Dylan's Arrowhead. We haven't been in this location in quite some time. I actually forgot what it looks like inside. And uh, the weather's not too bad. It's 104, 103. There's a slight breeze. It's feeling good, right? Oh look, javelinas. Well, that was a great little dinner we had with the folks and my brother Austin. And uh, I didn't really pull out the camera because we just kind of chit-chatted the whole time. It was kind of chill, nothing too exciting. And uh, I don't know, there's really nothing really to vlog, really. I guess is what it comes down to. Went for a little stroll. The weather was really nice outside, breezy. And uh, Tiffany just kind of chit-chatted. Kids rode on their skateboards, which is always fun. Just got done giving Tiffany a massage. Mm -hmm. a massage. Baby's licking your feet. Baby's licking my dirty, my dirty feet. Gross, don't do that. It's gross. Well, that's really close. Baby went for a walk too, huh? Yeah, she's really good. See, I was a cool doggy. I was shaking my booty. Huh. She doesn't like the gentle leader, but we can actually walk her with it. So, it makes it more enjoyable. You smiling, baby? Huh? You smiling? Bryce is just now doing his homework. <laughs> 9 p.m. Slacker. No video games for you, bro. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is read in the morning like I did yesterday morning. Got this all planned out, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do my spelling right now. I'm reading as soon as I wake up. Look, look, look at the clock. Stop reading. Just like that? Mm-hmm. You're almost done with your book, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be able to read all three of them. What are you reading? Plot Stanley. Plot Stanley. Oh, yeah. Well, you have, you have, do you have two more weeks? Oh, wait. You have ten more days. But he has two more books after that, did he? Yeah, Check I'm not finishing yeah. all of them. Well, you need to read more. Read faster. Read more faster. Uh oh, Sierra's got the sniffles. Who? You, you, you haven't been blowing your nose though. Mostly in the mornings. Oh, the morning that's just sniffles. morning sniffles. Yeah, I, I get that. That's a lot of sniffles. That's like wind blowing dust in your face, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so, are you so excited? Yeah. Your YouTube channel's live, and you're channel trailer which isn't fantastic uh it's actually harder than i thought to edit a trailer with only like six videos and for the most part the videos are kind of like i mean half of them were sitting right here on the bed so they all look the same yeah and then you had your three uh, game videos yeah. that i was able to pull clips from but it's like we almost need i almost needed like three more videos of different outfits different locations to like splice well, up oh yeah because one of them I'm just talking, and one of them, I, it's more like spread out, and it has my posh pack in my right, lap. Right. And one of them's like right here up close. I know, I know, but I'm, so. I'm just saying, like, there wasn't a lot of variety. So yeah. maybe after a couple of months of her recording two videos a week, 
I'll make another channel trailer and have more stuff to, to choose yeah. from. I think it'll be good. Mm -hmm. Especially because especially because she hasn't done a drawing video and drawing is gonna be a huge part of her channel. She's gonna be doing drawing videos probably once a month, right? If not two a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so, and some of those might be done in one take. Some of them might take two videos to do, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, and it seems like a lot of you guys are excited. Um, what what like you just looked and said, she's at like 10,000 subscribers guys yeah. like it's pretty it's pretty awesome and that I just appreciate that because honestly I wasn't sure obviously with the size of the channel that we have there's some Sierra supporters out there I just wasn't sure how many people were gonna jump over right away without even putting up a video right she doesn't even have her fish first official video of it's just been a it's just a trailer um, but it's exciting yeah she's super excited and so this is just the beginning right we've got we've got five videos shot she has two more ideas already in the hopper, ready to go, and so we're gonna work out a schedule um, where you know once a week she shoots her videos for the week, and then she'll have to edit them sometime later that week. And she's always gonna be ahead of a video, so that way if we go we travel or we go somewhere or she gets sick or something where she can't make a video that week, she already has videos made. Mm -hmm. You know, she's always gonna be like three or four weeks ahead. Yeah. That's kind of the idea. It's three yeah. three weeks ahead, so. Anything else? Um, I'm excited. She's excited. And that's our day, guys. Um, not much else is going on. Uh, it's 9, 9 p.m. Sears watching YouTube videos. Bryce is finishing up homework, and Tiff's gonna go to bed. And I'm gonna edit this vlog, and maybe play some Iron Banner. And tomorrow's Friday. As I said earlier, I'm really gonna try and focus on doing something each day, some kind of activity, get out of the house, do something, um, because. I vlog my best when I am out and about and doing activities and that it, it sparks my creativity it's, it fosters my creativity and I feel like that's the missing piece I feel like because I stay here all day and I'm in this room all day my creativity is down for the vlogs and it's up for the gaming videos because my gaming setup is here um, I'm thinking destiny I'm talking destiny I'm thinking YouTube gaming talking YouTube gaming and uh, yeah so, tomorrow should be interesting. Stay tuned. Vlog on.